You're hearing the number one music learning podcast in the universe. Hello, hello, ah, I'm Bentley, nice to have you here, this is Bad Dog, coming to you live, From the very tip top of Crawford Mountain. Oh, and up here at the top of Crawford Mountain, I get a different perspective. Up here at the top of Crawford Mountain, I get a whole different view way up here looking down on the world it hurts me this past year uh people you know today New Year's Eve two people dear to my heart hurt my feelings yeah we got a little quiet for a little bit And I got over it. Because you know people. Gotta be people. And I'm not perfect. No doubt. I've hurt people's feelings. With what I've said out loud. Because we know. Whatever's been said or heard on this show should not be listened to at all twice today my whole day was ruined for a couple minutes God He gives me that ability. But you know, not only is this the bad dog show, I am a bad dog. And I recommend you be a bad dog. And sometimes, all you gotta do is say no to other people. And that ruins their day. Not crazy? No. Pass. But. If you wait long enough. You get to see me. Yeah. But the point <clears throat> isn't that I got my butt hurt twice today. You know, that's life, isn't it? People are people. 
only one of us come down here and made it all the way through the gauntlet without committing sins. Of course, he got his behind handed to him at the end. Oh. Did that man get made to suffer? If I suffered anything like that, no way. No way. But my feelings have been hurt for a long time, really, since I was a young boy. I knew, I knew that this was all going to come to an end. When the year is coming to an end, it's New Year's Eve, December 31st. 2022 back when I was a young kid this date was inconceivable inconceivable <coughs> but here I am but I knew then that by the time uh, this kind of date came around it really wasn't going to be good. Wasn't going to get better. You think next year is going to get better than this past year? I don't know. There's not enough people left out there to say no there isn't I don't really think that there is but can you imagine what 10 million Christians could pray about and make happen I mean if 10 million Christians that love God Pray to God and ask Him for a revival to change everybody's heart. Can you imagine what a great year that would be? But you say, bad dog, there's evil people out there. Well, I know that, but I also know God can change their heart at any time. To be a, a revival. Just a, you know, God's kind of vain Himself. Come on. Think He'd like to just throw a revival? Let Satan know, you know, dude. Anytime. Anytime. I can take all this away from you, Satan, too. I can make all these people re- become a re- revival. I can make them pray to me. I'm God. But <clears throat> that's not how he rolls, right? I mean, he is kind of vain. He don't want us worshiping anybody else. No. But he can change things can you imagine a revival can you imagine if 10 million people prayed for 10 more million people to join them tomorrow in praying what could happen in this world but somehow people got other people to believe that they can pray for gold dear God I want gold dear God I'd like a new car God 
I'd love a new house. I'd love to have it all. Can you do that for me? Some people believe that. I mean, I, I don't. Not that I don't think God could uh, grant you anything you wanted, but he's not a not like a genie, right? He's not a magic lamp. You can't just grab your holy Bible, rub it. Mm, God, I want this. Now see, the thing is, you could have whatever you want. You're going to have to work for it. You know, as far as God goes, you're going to have to work there too, but you want, you want all that stuff, you're going to have to work for it. <clears throat> Now, God can help you find a better job, I think. I believe that. God can do all kinds of things. He is the original magic wand. But I'm looking at the world and I'm like, wow. It is pretty divided out there, don't you think? The, um, you know, there's a little bit of everything. Climate. There's, uh, fuel, fossil fuels people don't agree on. What we should heat the house with. How you heat your house? People don't like the food. We don't. We can't agree, agree on what we're growing in the fields out there. You know, we we know that they're doing bad things, and yet we're cool. So there, there is all that. We can't agree on any of it. Like, do I want to argue with someone about why they shouldn't be genetically modifying food? Why would you need to do that? There's plenty of room to do whatever we need here. And they're getting smarter about how we do everything. But then again, maybe not. Maybe we aren't as smart as I think. Maybe we aren't making cars better. They used to be, didn't they? They used to be a lot better. Mm, I don't know. You know, because if you crashed a car back in 1930, those big old hunks of steel did not crumple. So you definitely got a better chance in a car crash today than you did way back when. Now, way back when, you might have just went ahead and rolled right through a wall, and it might not have crashed, but you would have went up against something, been splattered inside the car. Ooh. So, anything that is going on, you know, like our power, the electric, we can make those things better. We can make them more efficient. No, we can't have any of that. We can't make a fossil fuel better. Ooh, you stupid. But then they got the same people saying that someone is stupid because they don't agree with them. And somehow that makes them right. 
and they forget you know they're they're being rude they're calling somebody a name and they they don't fully respect who they're talking to I know because I've talked to people like that and there's been times when I talked to people like that that they had it coming because they did not know as much as I did about what the situation was I'm like shut up dummy you don't know what's going on here most of the time they shut up we can't do that right somebody's like fossil fuel's bad you can't say shut up dummy we're gonna make this better we're going to make the chimney stacks better. I can be honest. They're already better than they were when I was a kid. They're probably better than when my dad was a kid. They're probably better than when his dad and so forth and so on. You know, because my dad, <coughs> he made steel. Iron. He was a steel worker. Union did it for 40 years that's pretty cool but you know what they were making steel 400 years ago they've been making it basically the same way but they have gotten a lot better about it but it's still the same steps but we progressed You know, they used to have a water wheel at the mill. It would grind your corn, wheat, and whatever you need in to flour and such. You know, depending on the type of water wheel you had at the time. And those were around a long, long time. They're not really around now because we've got better ways of doing it. But even back then... There were different ways to make that water wheel move. And they figured out the best way for the water wheel to move. Same thing with like steam engines, you know. Figured that out. And dialed that in. We make it all better. Steam engine today is basically the same as it used to be, but it's a lot better. people can't be happy can they oh people in the world so well, like I said though how do you argue how do you tell you someone who tells you something that you don't agree with Thoughts of fuel is bad. Well, you know what? It kind of is. Yeah, you don't want to drink it. There is truth to that. Nuclear power. That's bad. Well, there's truth to it, but it's also good. It does good things. Like the world we live in now is the best it's ever been for cleanliness and heat in your room man there's you gotta go out of your way to be a person who freezes to death in a house or in the winter time you gotta go out of your way unless you're in a blizzard in Buffalo New York and then uh, it's best to keep sleeping blankets and things like that in your vehicle maybe if a little bit extra gas when you live in places like that. I know I lived out in the desert. I had extra everything with me in the back of the blazer. That's a fact, Jack. If the world would come to an end, I couldn't get anything else. I could make life happen wherever I was. 
I don't know if I had seeds then. <laughs> Sometimes I carry seeds in my backpack just in case. Be nice. I, I can manage it a little bit, but it'd be cool to have some food that you didn't have to go hunt. You could just walk over and get it. Right off of that. Mmm. But is, is the world going to change? Man, you've been listening to me. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus and a good book. It's only going to get worse. Or it's going to come to a point that's really bad. And then it's done. Now if we're living in that time, I don't know. I'd really like to see 10 million Christians pray for everybody. Don't be afraid. There's a lot of Christians out there that I think are afraid of getting their head cut off. Don't be afraid about that. When that happens, that's what's going to happen. And you won't even be the first. It's happened for a long time. You know, I, I like to say sometimes that there's there's really nothing unique out there anymore for me. Somebody getting their head cut off, not unique. Somebody accepting the Lord, not unique. Somebody denying the Lord, not unique. Somebody thinks that they're a man, that's a woman, not unique. Nothing. But then, it hit me that you... You are unique. You are an individual. You really are. I mean, they want everybody out there to think that they're not unique, but you are. You're not mad. You're not crazy. This is how the world is now. The world is definitely mad. The insane asylum is right outside my door. Right over there. Five steps and I'm in the insane asylum. Crazy. The world's always been like that. There's nothing unique about that. Not at all. It's been like that since Adam and Eve got kicked out of Eden. <coughs> they walked into the insane asylum where we are. Where we like to pretend things, I suppose, is normal. But no. No. Right here, right in here, right there is dangerous to the insane asylum. Right here, right down here in my heart, right there. They don't like that either. No, oh. and they, they, you know them when you see them. You know them when you hear them. I hear them all the time. TV. News. Everything out there it seems to be programmed to... Program the people out there... To be a certain way. And they're buying it. These people out there are suckers. Gotta say... A lot of them are Christians, and you know what? They're suckers. You know, there's, to me, nothing worse than a virtual signaling Christian. Ooh. 
Maybe that's what I am. I don't know. I know I can't walk on water. I can't walk through a wall. I got tools that can help me with both of those. I got tools, baby. But of ten million Christians pray to God for a revival. Let's get everybody on board. Let's get I'd love in my lifetime to see Satan get so peed oh so upset when he looked out and saw everybody that he had fooled not fooled and he got to start all over again. You know, that could happen. I mean, it's not really written in red, but it can happen. It's written in red that we, you and me, are as great or greater than Jesus. I know. Blows my mind. Didn't think like that. You know, my simplest way to look at it is like, oh, I mean, that guy can be a Jedi, ninja. <clears throat> Seal Team Six, really? And we can't. It's obvious. I mean, or he wouldn't have said that. <clears throat> he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have lied to us. You know, we got this little light. We got this light right here. <laughs> Look at the camera wrong. I got it right for you, but wrong for me. I shouldn't even look at the camera. Yeah. yeah. So we got that light. Right in here. We got it. I like to let mine shine. Usually I'm shining mine in the dark. Sometimes I like to think I am the dark in this world today. That's got it so turned upside down that these people are the light. These people want to teach kids funky things in the school. These people who want to implant electronic devices in your brain. These people that tell you that Everything you do is wrong. And you're doing it wrong. You're driving wrong. You're eating wrong. You're pooping, sitting. Everything you're doing is wrong to these people. And they are got these people confused. And they're doing everything that we're not. Right? People believe they need electric cars. But what the dirty little thing is, is what they forget to tell you that when we change over to all that, a lot of people got to go. They don't say that. Like, see, I got discernment, which I like to explain to people as that's kind of like a superpower. But to move this world in the direction that they want can't be done with a bunch of people in it. It can't be done with people like me who think for themselves and doesn't mind to say no. Pass. I don't care how much time, money, effort you spent on that but I'll pass you all know you think it's a great idea but it's a bad idea pass and that's how the world is to me anymore and then 
They're like, now I know what kind of person you are. I'm like, good. And now you know. So, you don't need to act like that around me. I'm a bad dog. I know. It's crazy, ain't it? Hold on a second. But you know what? <clears throat> Jesus. I'm, I'm not sure how he feels about a bad dog. So that's why I like to keep it kind of non... Physical. I don't recommend getting physical with anybody. <clears throat> now, I know Jesus did. But he had like a cat of nine tail when he's cleaning out his house, though. That's what he was doing. It's like he came home and there was a bunch of people he thought were being creepy and not using his house in the right way and he put it on him people are like well Jesus ain't always nice like, well he could have killed him he could have brought the walls down on him could have turned him to salt he could have done all kinds of things but beat him in front of all their buddies And people were cool with him hanging that man up back then. They were cool. They were cool with that. Now I think like his house of course is a house of worship. And uh, back then they, they liked to do little sacrifices. But Jesus kind of put the kibosh on that. Didn't have to do that anymore but they were doing it and when he gets to his house there's like idiots out front selling the sacrifices to people and doing other things too but can you imagine going somewhere and buying your sacrifice to a god and they did that for thousands of years but it, it blows my mind I'm like oh I can I, <clears throat> I can see why God had to send Jesus. Cause if I would have been before born before Jesus, mm, I'll have to be honest with you. I don't know how much faith I would have had had I been born before Jesus. You uh, would have had to seen things. You know, say I still got the same kind of mind I got, but I guess maybe I wouldn't have discernment before then, so anybody could lie to you and you might not get it. I don't know. But without Jesus, I wouldn't have had any faith at all, I'm, I'm sure. I wouldn't have believed in anything. Mm-mm. I probably would have been believed in me and probably would have been one of the most evil people to ever walk this earth historically. But I was born into Jesus. I grew up with Jesus. I can't imagine a world without Jesus. But there was a world without Jesus. It was the Old Testament. Things were bloody back then. <clears throat> for everything you know people didn't follow rules and there were all kinds of people worshipping other things God the Jews weren't um, well they I guess they were original but they weren't unique they had all kinds of people out there worshipping everything and even the Jews worshipped everything the Hebrews That's God's chosen people. That's like his team. Like my team used to be Pittsburgh Steeler. Yeah. 
Pittsburgh Steelers. And then uh, and I went ahead and went with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Because, you know, there was some Pittsburgh too. Why not? And, uh, and then um, I went on Team Michael Jordan. Whatever team he was on. <laughs> when it comes to basketball. And when he retired, I retired from basketball. And then when he came back, I went back to watching the NBA. And then when he retired, I stopped. Maybe I'll be like that with Jesus. But I'm gonna be on I'm on team Jesus, right? And don't get me wrong, I wanna see him. But to see everybody down here on earth and it seems to me there's a lot of people suffering on both sides. You know, like me, I don't know how to take some of this. Like I said, you know, I'm not only am I not on the same page with these people, I'm not in the same book with these people. No. <coughs> but they're not with me, right? So one of us needs help. Yeah. One of us needs help. And I don't feel it's me. I got I got God and Jesus. Who love me. Uh -huh, and I know that. And they put me in situations sometimes. And I think they... That the old devil put me in situations, but you know what they do? Bentley, Bentley can handle it. He's a bad dog, but he can handle it. He's good. He's that guy's all right. But some people just I don't know. It hurts me to see how some of these people are. Science. Politicians. I mean, you can look at the politics right now, and I, I see people arguing with each other over, over these politics, or politicians, and I can't see one that was worthy of arguing for. I'm like, okay, what? They're both, they're all bad. Anything. I mean, when someone, I got a four thousand dollar or four thousand page omnibus bus bill that nobody read, and they're going to pass it. You know, like Nancy Pelosi and the health care. Oh, yeah, we have a read it. We're going to pass it to find out what's in it. God, you stupid. Well, you hear things like that, and you're cool with that. You can't figure out that. We're not playing on the same page anymore. And they say the same thing with the omnibus and omnibus. Omni, really? They use words that are scary to me. Omnibus, there ain't nothing good about that word. I think it's been like the bad guy in a couple science fiction novels I don't know not good like Dominion voting counting system it just people amaze me <coughs> but I know they, they say there's a billion Christians out there Okay, I know there's you and me. Okay, we got that. What do you think? We got 10 million. Can we get 10 million? I mean, it's just going to start with me and you. You know, because you are the most rare thing in the universe. A listener to Bad Dog, come on. You know how rare you are, but. Just you and me, baby. You and me will pray to God. Tell them we can just get ten million more praying to you. 
just praying and saying give everybody Jesus and saying if you do that you will automatically everything gets better because you can't do things a certain way and be a Jesus loving person right you can't be lying to people if you love Jesus you can't be hurt people beating up people killing people if you love Jesus hey you might be able to speed that'll be okay but there's still some things you could do that most people might not like but it'll be okay but there's a lot of things you can't do if you love Jesus <clears throat> wouldn't that just be funny to see these people who I think are bad players you know like me I like all the politicians. I don't think any of them love Jesus. Well, they couldn't do what they're doing. You know, I, I see a little bit of stuff from Rand Paul. Fauci. Eh. That kind of thing. Like, I don't know, maybe. Well, somebody is going to have to hang for that we'll have to be honest with you it's probably going to be Fauci you know that upset some people but not enough people and how about all the electric outages people shooting at them call them vandalize these sub stations from electric called vandalized those vandalized vandalized does not mean shooting something where I come from unless it's a BB gun or a pellet gun you can call it vandalized but when people pull out a gun and destroy things that's not vandalizing that's that's terrorizing I'm going to have to be honest with you that's how I call it Like they had five on Christmas Day in Washington. Within about 12 hours of each other. And you know, it could be for anything. Right? It could be. It could be that they are all waiting and robbing some super bank. There's some rich people live around Washington. You know? Maybe they robbed a bank or something. I don't know. I don't, it's just something seen in movies, fairy tales. Or maybe they're trying to mess with people. But you know, when there's five of them on one day and 12 hours in the same state, I'm like, alright. Well, I know one of them, uh, Brian Suits, a radio commentator, put some video where he went to one of them the day after and there was nobody there, no guard, no anything, no cameras. Well, how much is a substation worth? I don't know. I have to get back to you on that. But I know they've been escalating. They probably had like 70 some substations messed with in the past year. Like 60 some before that, 60 some before that. So, that's just something to think about for a minute. Let's see, if you're a Christian, would you be doing that? If you believed in Jesus, would you be shooting? Oh, Happy New Year. Right there in this little moment that you may or may not have seen was a... Uh, New Year's break. Kiss my honey. Yeah. I do that occasionally. 
changed my hat. You can still hear him out there celebrating New Year. But I don't know, where was I? <laughs> well, thing is, the revival. I just think it would be cool. Because ever since I was a kid, I uh, kind of always thought we were... I mean, I know we weren't on the losing team, but I'm like, really, man, we can't get our heads out of our butt. We gotta have all this happen. We really gotta have an Antichrist come down here and yank our chains. Really behead people. We ain't got enough sense in our soul to figure it out. We gotta act like animals and keep on sacrificing things to other gods you know and even if you didn't believe in God and you saw everybody else I mean you see how the sheep are today what side they both fall in on I don't care if they're on the right or left they both fell in line I still think that there's somebody going to save us so we're going to come down here some right president and politician going to save us. No way. Any politician ever saved anybody. You know, maybe on accident. I don't know, is that kind of a bad way to look at things? No. It's a fact, Jack. But it would be cool if we could all pray for everybody. Give us that moment. Give us 20, 30, 50, 100 years. No reason why we can't, right? And then see what happens. But that, is, that, is that heretic talking like that too? Because, you know, when I was a kid, I just didn't get it. Why has it got to be like that? I mean, it's not a book. It's a thing. I mean, we got our the book, but... You know. Just bad ideas. People make bad choices. Really, Satan's got that much control over us. Are we that much of the people that we can't? do the right thing really I mean eventually really they're going to be like heads chopping off and people feeling good about it because it chopped people's heads off and that's not unique that's happened through the years through the millennia I mean they've had people been building forts on the top of hills and mountains for years to protect themselves from other people. I'm talking 4,000 years ago, people doing that. 6,000 years ago, people building walls around them to keep idiots out. Nothing unique about it. But America's kind of unique. We don't have a wall. Anybody can come through our borders. Woo! There's a, go, there's a good history lesson. Now, way back when, that would have definitely freaked some countries out. But here, we're welcoming them in. Me, personally, man, if you left a real crappy place and you're trying to get here to make a better life for you and your family, I'm all in. I'm going to be honest with you. It'd be hard to tell me I'm wrong. But I believe people are trying to take what little bit of freedom that's left in this world away. I kind of, I kind of believe that right now. I mean, they're going to do it anyway. I have to be selfish and admit I was kind of hoping 
all that antichrist stuff would happen after me you know all that I really didn't want to see an epic failure like that of people I didn't want to see what we would have been warned about for 6,000 years happen while I'm here I'm like I'm cool with that not happening I'm cool with that please make it go away and honestly though I, I feel bad for some people you know if that would happen to us and right now I know people that would just be shocked and they wouldn't even have to wait for somebody to cut their head off they'll, they'll go ahead and do that themselves and some of them be happy to cut off their brother or sister's head or cousin or friend or their ex old preacher. There'll be people that find glee in that. And then there's me. I can find glee that, yeah, look, there it is. Said this was happening. Said that was going to happen. I don't know. I know. I always kind of had a feeling I was would be here till Christ come back. Like there was no rapture for me. But I think some people got to be left behind. I could be wrong, you know. What do I know? But I just had that feeling, dude. All you got to do is just stay here after this happens and say no okay make sure you do it in front of as many people as you can time to be a bad dog tell them no 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 one and one is not five Jesus walked on the water he wants me to give you a big hug pray for your soul he loves you No, can't deny God. You know, when you do that, you become an antichrist, too. And I was something I just went through and figured out myself a month or two or three ago. You know, you deny Christ knowing He's real, you become an antichrist. There's plenty of them out there. But Happy New Year. I love you. I do. I know I'm kind of weird tonight. But I got my butt hurt. By two people I love. Just for a few minutes. And you know what? It's okay. <coughs> Not unique. Not unique at all. You know what though? This is good to know that I, I, I got them. My butt hurt too. It's okay. Don't get mad at me. Ain't no reason to get mad with, at me because, number one, I'm not wrong, baby. Very rarely. Bentley, me. Very rarely am I wrong. I'll be the first to admit when I am wrong, but rarely. I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you think about that. But I know. I know better. I got that from being raised. My mama. And Jesus. Thank you, mama. Yeah, I got to know better. I know better.
more people need to know better. But that's alright. I'm just here for you. You know, I'm not here for the world. I'm just here for you to hang out with, talk to. You know, I ain't got nobody else to tell I got my butt hurt today. Thanks for listening. I think that might be the only time I've ever said that. But like I said, though, I do get my feelings hurt looking at the world. Man, it, it does. It hurts me to see the world and the people today. You know, they can't possibly, you know, get inside my head and figure out what I figured out. Oh well. There's tomorrow. And there's you and me. I'm praying. Let's just pray for 10 million. Pray for a revival. Pray to make them all love Jesus just one more time. Let's just show the whole world what it would be like if the whole world believed in Jesus. And love Jesus. Well, remember what I said. You, there's certain ways you can't be. I love Jesus. <clears throat> True story. Well, I love you. Push you in a peck. Push you in a peck and a hug around the neck. While well, you're listening to Bad Dog. Coming to you live from the very tip top. Crawford Mountain. And until next time. I'll see you then.